Peyton, you have brought up very interesting ideas that we can further discuss down the road. Uh, the Mary Jane roast that Portland, Oregon has uh, put in place has been very popular. I can see that their sales have gone through the roof and their customer clientele has grown a lot through this um, new idea that you could put THC into the coffee beans in a certain way. Um, the logistics of this idea is hard because we are in a different state. In the state of South Carolina, you can only have a certain percentage of THC or marijuana products in your product. Beyond research, according to the um, data that I've looked up here, the South Carolina uh, laws and regulations show that THC or CBD oil, you would have to have a 0.3 percentage. So we can look into look, putting it into coffee grounds. There are some ways to get around it. You can, instead of using THC products, according to this website, you're able to use CBD, which is a similar oil, and you can mix the beans between each other. Now, CBD is a regulated product that is used across the country. Um, according to the Harvard University website that I am reading at, you can use more CBD than THC in your coffee grounds, and many companies have started this. Um, this is also called hemp, and um, it has a lot of great effects. Not only does it give you a buzz after you drink your coffee, but it puts you in the right mindset, and I've seen many people benefit from trying these different coffee products. Other countries have experimented, according to the Harvard site, other countries have tried um, using CBD and other products with tea. So maybe we can look at uh, tea products and see if that tastes better for the uh, consumers. We can get a professional doctor or some or a state legislator to give us the perfect amount and maybe test the product out before we sell it to the um, consumers. So Payton, I really like your idea. I think these kind of products are very popular in this in today's society. I don't think it's a bad thing to bring it to our market because there are a lot of benefits and I think the government is seeing that and that's why percent certain percentages are legal across the country. Going forward, we can do a couple of test runs, um, see if we like the product first before we bring it out to the market. But Peyton, thank you for bringing in your idea and we'll look forward to trying it in the future. Have a good day.